I would say the first criteria is if there is anything that you are doing just for yourself, I, me, and myself, yeah, it will not yield happiness. It might yield immediate pleasure, short-lived pleasure, but it will not yield joyfulness. Yeah, if you commit yourself of doing something which is beyond I, me, and myself, it is surely a formula to yield joyfulness and bliss in life. Mark this as a mantra. Now. Mark this as a mantra. Now, evaluate every decision of yours in life based on this mantra. Yeah, big. And I'll I'll do a precursor of this. You know, people ask me, what is the purpose of life? The only purpose of this life is to attain the absolute ananda and blissfulness of life. That's the only purpose. You know what Buddha got after so much of tapasya? Nothing. It was absolute sheer joyfulness and ananda. That's the ultimate purpose of life, right? So use this formula to evaluate. If you are entering into the business world, in the corporate world, evaluate. If the nature of work is only for I, me and myself, or if the nature of work is such that it does add some value to, to all the stakeholders or the people around or the nature around or the communities around. If your work is adding value to the society around, to nature around, to communities around, to larger humanity around, to all forms of life around, it's worth investing your life energies into. If it is not, it will bring a little bit of pleasure here and there, but uh, you'll keep struggling for the joyfulness of, of, or the exuberance of life. Yeah. So, yeah, make that. Mm -hmm.